in some spectra you might see a lot of noise. Now this noise may be because of certain factors. Uh, you need to have a very clear and clean spectrum uh, so as to uh, extract maximum information from it and that is why your spectrum must have a good signal to noise ratio. Signal to noise ratio means the ratio of the intensity of the signal to the noise. The good thing about this pulse Fourier transform technology is that you can scan a molecule rapidly. Within no time you will have a spectrum. Right? As we have discussed earlier that resonance or excitation, acquisition of the FID and the Fourier transform. It takes a few seconds. So within a few seconds you can do all this process and all these steps involved are involved in one scan. So one scan can be performed uh, in a few seconds. So it means it's a very rapid process. And it gives you the luxury of scanning your molecule again and again uh, within a short span of time. Right? So when you scan the molecule for the second time, for the third time, for the fourth time, what happens is that the signals from your molecule, they appear at the same position every time, in every scan. So these signals appear at the same frequency and which means at the same position in the NMR spectrum. But the noise signal, they vary in their position. The noise is random. So sometimes you see noise at a particular position in the, in the uh, scale or in the spectrum, but in another scan you would see a different ratio of these noise signals uh, at that particular position and you might see noise at another position. So it is random. And because of that, because of the signals from your sample appearing at the same position and the signals of the noise appearing at different position, this noise uh, tends to grow at a slower rate. So when you scan your molecule again and again and you stake all these scans together, the intensity of the signals from your sample, it increases, but noise sometimes it is cancelled out because it is random. So for n number of scans, if you scan your molecule n times, the signal from your sample, it grows n times because you are stacking them n times, while the noise grows by a factor of square root of n. So it grows by a factor of square root of n. So if you have n number of scans and n is equal to 64, then signal to noise ratio is calculated by taking the square root of 64. And that is equal to 8. So signal to noise 64 divided by the square root of 64, that is 8, is equal to uh, 8. Okay. So if n is equal to 64, signal to noise ratio is equal to 8. Now if you want to double the signal to noise ratio. If you are not satisfied with this number 8, like if you have scanned your sample 64 times, the signal to noise ratio is 8, but the resultant spectrum is not good enough or not clean enough to be interpreted, you are not happy with the result and you want to increase the signal to noise ratio so as to decrease the noise level and increase the signal level, how many scans would be required? So double means that if this is 8, if you want to take it to 16, how many scans would be required? Square root of what is equal to 16? 256. The square root of 256 is equal to 16. So if you want to double the signal to noise ratio, then you need to scan your molecule 256 times and that will give you a signal to noise ratio equal to 16. So let's see this with the help of a diagram. 
You see, this is the first scan and you see a signal from your sample. And these signals are the noise signals. Now, when you scan it for the second time, this signal appears again at the same position. But noise is random. See, here noise is positive. Here, at exactly the same position, it is negative. Then, everywhere it is random. So, it cancels out, but the signal from your sample, it appears at the same position and that is why its intensity increases with every scale. So, if you have n number of scans, then the signal to noise ratio would be equal to square root of n and after many pulses, after many scans, you would have, you will have a very clear signal that will have minimum uh, noise levels. So this is how you can increase the signal to noise ratio and you can have a better signal or spectrum.